All right, let's look at the other side of this matchup from the Sunday night football game. You know, we talked about Taysom Hill, the run game, the quarterback run game package, right, against the Bucks D. Now, let's talk about the Bucks offense. That's got everything. I mean, weapons, system, we know the quarterback's been there, done that, goat, right? We got all of that, no doubt about it. But here's one of the new little elements, and to me is what they're great at. What, one thing is the, the, the screen game. The Bucks are one of the best screen teams in all of football. And then add that, Leonard Fournette has become a big part of the pass game and, of course, the screen game off of that. And that's where I want to go inside the numbers powered by AWS. Fournette, a huge part of the pass game lately. Since week 10, 146 routes, all right, out of the backfield. Most among running backs in the NFL. 37 targets, most in the NFL. 32 catches, most in the NFL out of running backs. Again, all of these are among running backs and 182 yards, which is fourth among running backs since week 10. It's a real element. And listen, when you play the Bucks, and this is where I want to show you, we'll bring up the first frame here, as far as the Bucks, people play them, you're worried about the deep passing game. Brady can still throw the ball down the field with the best of them. Evans, Godwin, Gronkowski. You got to worry about the explosive pass plays. And this is where the Bucks offense has gone to the next level. So you can see, you're getting a little bit of a Soft coverage by, by the Buffalo Bills here, all right? It's a first and 10, and the Bucks have gotten to the point where they go, okay, you want to play off and take away some of our aggressive pass plays? Well, that's fine. They have a lot of different ways to throw screens to the wide receivers and the tight ends. It's just another element, again, to go, if you want to play off, well, you're going to have to deal with this. You better come up and stop some of this stuff, and then, of course, they hit you up over the top. But this is going to be simple. It's really going to be a little swing route to Fournette, and you're just going to get phenomenal blocking down the field by Evans and Godwin's, Godwin, who are both like top-notch blockers in the NFL as far as receivers are concerned, and especially Godwin. He's the real deal. And what we're seeing here, too, with Fournette, you get him on the edge or get him some space, he can make some plays. All right, next frame. You see Fournette got the ball in his hands on the edge already. Look at the space that there is. You know, they've, they've, he's got a lot of space, ways to go up the sideline, cut it inside, whatever he wants to do. Godwin's all over Teron Johnson. Mike Evans, he's supposed to block the corner here at 39. He does a bad job and comes inside, leaves the sideline open for Net to make a big play. But again, it's just another element of this Bucks offense where you just go, man, there's a lot to defend. The Saints defense has given the Bucks offense a lot of issues. They have a front four that can get to Brady and it allows them to play coverage and do creative things in the back end. But again, if you play too heavy, we're going to take the, the deep pass away. The Bucks can run the football. And then this screen game that we've been talking about here, it's real. It really is. And this guy right here is showing everybody what kind of football player he is. Not only a power runner who can break 50-yard touchdowns, but can catch the ball out of the backfield and be smooth with the ball in his hands after the catch. And it's taken their offense to another level and another dimension you have to worry about. All right, last frame. You see the results here. All right, first off, Godwin put Teron Johnson on his butt, pancake. Now you see Micah Hyde over here. He's going to put him on his butt, too. I mean, a wide receiver got two pancake blocks on the same play. And now Fournette is going to lower the shoulder, and he's going to get down to about the four or five-yard line and put the Bucs in prime scoring position. But, again, this is a thing to watch out for with the Bucs offense that's really jumped out to me over the last five or six weeks is the screen game. People trying to take away the big pass plays, but they're capable of running the ball and throwing the ball to the screens, whether it's Chris Godwin's or Mike Evans or even Gronk in the screens, that makes you go, oh, wait, we just can't play soft pass coverage and take away the big pass play. Something to watch for, Sunday Night Football, big-time matchup, Saints-Bucks. Tune in. I'll be there. Peace out. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.